What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 23 video. EA have finally upgraded the fantasy FIFA Ultimate Team cards, the heroes and regular players alike. And we're going to take a look at the upgrades and take a look at who became a beast and who still isn't worth the coin. So first and foremost guys, Alexis Sanchez. Uh, he has got the win one game, the three appearances, the two goals or assists. And uh, I don't think they can avoid the defeat now. But he is up to a 93 from that initial 90, which is three pace, three shooting, passing physical. Oh, is it literally just a, a plus three? Let me have a look at the in-game stats. It actually is just a plus three everywhere, isn't it? I was hoping that, you know, on the odd occasion, they give like plus fours and fives in some areas and only ones and twos in others. But it does actually appear that it is just a legit plus three. So no losses yet for Marseille. So they can still get the next upgrade on Sanchez as well. He's four star, four star. Outside the foot shot trait, finesse shot trait and flare trait. What does he get for further upgrades? What is it? Let me, um, let me look on. What do they get if they, on the third upgrade? Is it, have they already had the three extra traits added now? Either way... So they've already got the three extra traits. Which for him would have been finesse shot, flare and outside the foot shot, I think. Or is he still going to get three extra traits if they don't lose? Man, this dribbling. He, he doesn't have it yet, so you need all four upgrades for that. This card is unbelievable, isn't it? Acceleration is superb. Sprint speed is good. Shooting is very good. Passing is unbelievable. Dribbling is outrageous. Four star, four star as well. Pop an engine on him. That's a mad card. A 96 rated can with an engine. Or a 97 rated can with a maestro. That dribbling, unreal. Shooting from range, unreal. Passing, unreal. That's the, that's the chem style for me. Alexis Sanchez at central cam with a maestro is absolutely ridiculous. A basic on him is good. A basic on him is very good, actually. It gives that sprint speed boost. Still gives a dribbling boost. Nice shooting boost. That's actually a mad card, to be fair. That's a mad card. Alexis Sanchez, a beast. We've got Isaac up from an 89 to a 92. Three pace and shooting, passing, dribbling, and physical. Isaac is four-star, five-star, of course. Yeah, this card is, like, it is a nice card. What traits has he already got? Outside the foot shot trait and flare trait. He's obviously big at six foot four, which is great. That balance is a bit of an issue. Pace is real nice. Shooting is real nice. Passing is good for a striker. Physical is real nice. I think an engine on him. To boost that balance right up. That dribbling right up. Make him feel a bit smoother. Pace goes up a bit more. Passing a bit better. The other alternative you've got, I think, is a Hawk. Get that jumping up for 6 foot 4. 91 jumping. Or a, and that pace and shooting is nice. He's a 96.1 striker like that. A Hunter... 96.5 striker, perfect pace, incredible shooting. Or, yeah, see, the finisher, I don't really like the finisher personally. It's just one of those ones for me where it's like, you only get a plus four on a balance and a big, big shooting boost. But I think the extra balance here, the plus eight on the balance, and this shooting already being good enough is good enough. I would either go with an engine if you really like your like players to feel like a little bit more silky smooth. Or a Hawk, because that's an unbelievable card. Great shooting, great pace, and 91 jumping, 92 strength. That is a super card again, though, isn't it? Have Newcastle lost uh, a game yet? No, look at that. And they've got Villa and Spurs. He might get all of the upgrades. Who have uh, Marseille got? Tra, Leon, and Auxerre. So only Leon's a tough game for them. When I, look, I remember when I looked at uh, Sanchez and Stad Dahim was going to be a tough game. They ended up winning it. Lorient was a tough game for them as well. They ended up drawing. But Leon's the only realistic game there that you could see them losing. So Sanchez could easily go to a 94. Isaac could easily go to the 93. David Ginola has now been upgraded to a 92. Oh, he was already upgraded, wasn't he? I'm pretty sure he was already upgraded. Seven million coins. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, what a joke. Five star, five star for the man. That's a crazy good card, isn't it? Nonetheless, uh, we got a Betty Pele as well. Still on for the uh, the full upgrade. 
Got that first upgrade into a 92. 1.1 million for him. Four star, four star. Insane dribbling. Pop a dead eye on him. That's the one. Mm. That's an outright man. These cards are just so good, aren't they? We, we're not even at team of the season yet. Papa is now 92. Another Marseille uh, hero. How wild is that? Papan's only 220k. Yeah, you, you, pop, you pop your engine on him for sure. That's an, another legit card. I can't even lie. People disrespect him because of that, uh, that weak foot. We've got Fernando Morientes. So Real Madrid have lost. He only got the one upgrade to a 92. We've got Ben Rama now up to a 91 for West Ham. So he hasn't got any goals and assists yet. They have already lost. He can only get one more upgrade if he gets two goals or assists. They've got Arsenal, Bournemouth and Liverpool. He could get both goals and assists against Bournemouth. Could, could, could get something against Arsenal and Liverpool as well. But this card now, guys, up from an 89 to a 91, a plus two on Ben Rama. Only 75k for this card. Four star, four star, outside the foot shot trait and flare trait. I think there's two options for him again here. I think Maestro for me, if you're playing him centrally, unbelievable passing, great shooting from range and incredible dribbling. Makes him a 95 cam. Good acceleration, okay sprint speed, good stam. If you're going to be playing him on the wing, maybe an engine, get that pace up a bit more, crossing and vision up a bit more and the dribbling up a bit more. You don't quite get the reactions, but um, it's still a good card with good shooting as well. Either way, I think for 75k, that that is a... Banging cards. I, I, I genuinely don't know how he's so cheap. What other chem style would you go with? Like maybe a catalyst, maybe a hunter. Catalyst pace and passing, very nice. Hunter, you could play him at striker. To be fair, he has got some good good qualities for a striker. Um, but overall, Benarama, nice. We've got Marcus Llorente. They've got the win. They've got the three appearances. He's got one goal and assist so far. And then they've got Almeria, Barcelona, and Mallorca. Barcelona, the only game really that they're going to have to avoid defeat for, for him to potentially go all the way up to the 93 with the extra traits. And the fact that he can play right back and right mid as well is so good. This card, for me, I actually think he, he should be a right back. Because when you pop the shadow on him, insane defending very good physicals, perfect pace, and then for a defender, really good passing, shooting, and dribbling with a four-star weak foot. I would definitely put him into that right-back role. Look at his price house, like just dropped and dropped and dropped. That's that pre-team of the season market crash coming in hot now. People are selling up. That is a phenomenal card. And will most likely go to a 92, even a 93. Harry Kuehl for Leeds. They did get the win. They actually got two wins, one against uh, Wolves, one against Forest. He's up to a 91 already. Would have been nice if he gave them like a double boost, you know. Ruben Dish, one win, two appearances so far. No clean sheets for City so far, 4-1 and 4-1. They've got Leicester, Arsenal, Fulham and West Ham. You would expect them to get two more clean sheets. He will definitely get a third appearance. And other than them getting smashed by Arsenal, they probably won't lose. But Ruben Diaz just up the one to the 91. Shadow on him. I think this might have already been upgraded as well. That's just a ridiculous card anyway, isn't it? Whether that's been upgraded now or prior, that's a ridiculous card. Four-star weak foot on him as well, which is quite mad. Eden Hazard has been upgraded. He got the win. He got an appearance off the bench and got an assist. Real Madrid have lost their games. I don't, I don't think he'll get three appearances. But out of nowhere, it's actually possible for Eden Hazard to get three of the four upgrades. And that was wildly unexpected. If he just gets a couple more sub appearances, you know, Real Madrid could be like five up against Cadiz with like 20 minutes to go, pop him on. Same against Girona, pop him on. He, he could do it. He could do it. He is up to a 91 though, which was expected for the win. And again, this is a crazy good card. A maestro on him. Passing, unbelievable. Shooting, very good, especially from range. Dribbling, insane. Pace, very good. Outside the foot shot trait. Flare trait and finesse shot trait. And just a super card. And again, you can go for like the en engine if you want. Dribbling, pace and passing. Again, just 
cracked out. That's such a good card, man. And it's only 500,000 coins. But we're about to get to Team of the Season where we're going to see like another like 300 cards on that level. It's going to be mad. Uh, Marquez has been upgraded to a 91. He's been there for a while for the uh, New York Red Bulls. They've already lost the game as well. Uh, JJ Okocha up to the 91. Of course, the win came in, but also the loss came in, which was really unexpected because Fenerbahce hadn't lost in a long time. Uh, both Gomez's have been upgraded once. I don't know how you like uh, change the associated club, but Fiorentina haven't lost yet. They've got Atalanta, tough game, Monza and uh, Sampdoria. He could actually get another upgrade, to be fair. But yeah, whatever. He was the SBC. He was a fun one as well. Memphis Depay up to a 90. One out of three appearances so far. Has he been injured? Zero goals or assists. And again, Atletico Madrid could absolutely go all the way through. Um, and uh, and not lose. You know, Barcelona is the only difficult one there. But a 90 Memphis Depay. High low work rates. Five star skill moves. The three star weak foot sucks a little bit. Outside the foot shot trait is nice. Man, I feel like I do this a lot, but I'll go with the maestro on him as well. Great passing, great shooting from range, good pace, nice dribbling. I'd play him at central cam. Those five-star skill moves, that's quite a nice card, that is. We've got William Salabat. Might not get the... In fact, probably won't get the three appearances. Um, he's not back in training. There was a, an outside chance that he makes it back for the West Ham game. Likely, he plays in against Southampton and uh, City. I thought we'd get two clean sheets and I thought one of those would be against Leeds, one of those would be against Southampton, but we're going to now have to get a clean sheet against West Ham and Saints because we probably won't against City. It's, it's, it's actually possible um, that Saliba only gets the one upgrade, which is a bit sad. We've got Captain Villa up to the 90 rated. Still hasn't had a defeat from uh, Villarreal yet. Man, they beat Real Madrid as well. That was one of the tough ones for them. They've actually got some like really favorable matchups as well. Captain Villa could go to a 91. How unreal would he be if he went to a 91? He's already one and a half million coins for a left back. An anchor on him, crazy stats. I mean, even his 86 was good. His 88 are still used now. Al Jaber up to a 90. Uh, they have already lost the game, sadly, so he can't go any further. Good card, though, to be fair, again. Little finisher on him. That's a mad striker. Four-star, four-star. Once Talisca gets the team of the season and Ronaldo as well, that could be a nice little, uh, nice little, nice little trio there. Fabian now up to a 90. PSG have lost two games. Um, no goals or assists, but it is not really one four goals or assists, to be fair. But he is up to a 90 rated. 192,000 coins for this card. Really nice dribbling. Good passing. Decent physical. Four-star, four-star. I think a shadow on him as a, as a DM is a really cool card. He'll feel really clean on the ball. Maybe an anchor, actually, and get that, that, that strength and aggression up. Yeah, I do like that. He's still got good pace in that midfield. Very nice passing as well. We've got Sabitz up to a 90. I can't lie, man. I did not expect him to get the three appearances. You know, but uh, obviously... Injuries and suspension and rotation and whatnot. He's he's coming clutch in a few games for Man United. He's got one of two uh, decisives as well, which is quite mad. So they still got three games against Forest, Spurs and Villa for him to get another goal or assist. It's not impossible. It's not impossible. Good dribbling, good physical, really nice passing, decent shooting. A shadow on him. And again, four-star, four-star, high, high work rates. That as a DM in your game is nice. Really nice. That SPC, I, I do still think it was a little bit overpriced, but now you're kind of looking at it and thinking if he does go up to the 91, yeah, maybe it's a bit more, a uh, bit closer to like being a fair price. Jota up to a 90. Liverpool are yet to win in three. They have had three tough games, though. You're almost definitely going to win one of those three. Um, and he only needs one more goal or an assist, which he'll likely get as well. So he should go up to a 92 uh, by the end of the six matches. This card is really nice again. Four star, five star, which is superb. Maestro on him. Yeah, lovely dribbling. Good shooting. Hmm. Parsons actually a bit meh. Maybe I'd go engine then. Where is it? 
engine there. Now, see, even then, his passing's just a bit meh. Might be worth doing, like, a finisher on him and play him at a striker. Good pace, very good dribbling, very good finishing, good physicals for a striker as well. That's prob probably what I would play him as. High high work rate for a striker, not ideal, but not too bad. Benasser now up to a 90. He's got the win, he's got the appearances. They've unfortunately lost. He won't likely get assists or goals, but you never know. Still a cracking card, isn't it? Pop a shadow on him. Super, super stuff. Dribbling's insane. Passing very good. Pace great. Defending great. Physical's very, very good. And four-star skill moves. That's a wild card, that is. For only 300,000 coins as well. That's a wild card. DeMarcos up to a 90. 58k for this card. Um, they haven't lost yet. They have had one clean sheet so far. They've got Almeria, who you could half expect them to get a clean sheet against as well. He could very, very easily get all of the upgrades, even as it is right now, though. This is a really cool card. An anchor on him, great pace, very good defending, great physicals, good passing, very good dribbling for a fullback with four-star skill moves. That's a quality card, that is. Um, we've got Mitoma, already up three. He's got a win. He's got two goals or assists. He's got three appearances. They unfortunately have already lost, so he won't get the, the next upgrade. But this is a beast of a card now. 64k. What is it with these Premier League left mids, man? Great pace. Yeah, nice dribbling, but I, I would go a maestro on him. Shooting from range is super. It's a three-star weak foot that kills him, isn't it? Really nice passing. Really good dribbling. And good shooting from range with great pace on a, on a maestro. With outside the foot shot trait, but even with that massive upgrade, it kind of the, the price makes a little bit of sense there. We've got Dirk out up to a 90 for the one win. Um they haven't lost yet. The I mean final shouldn't really lose against those teams. Utrecht might be the most challenging of the three left. Um obviously the game against Ajax was the one that you expected to lose, so Count could easily go up to the 91. Di Natale, his he's got his max upgrades already as a 90 rated striker and a quality card. Alawaran already up to the 90. Ma'al Shababian's no losses in the first two. They got Etifak, Al Fateh, Itihad. Tough game there. And then Gomez already up to a 90. They have lost, so he won't go further. But this card as well. This was an SPC for 60k. Four star, four star. And again, dribbling is crazy. Pace is crazy. Put a maestro on him. Great passing. Great shooting from range. Insane dribbling with very good pace. That is a crazy card. If you didn't do that SBC, you are gutted. Because Lille themselves have got some good cards. Jonathan David's card is nice. The Jonathan Bamba card is nice. The Weyer card is a bit behind the power curve now. Same as Ishmaili. He was quite good earlier on in the year, but still loads of quality links. The fact that he can play at striker as well makes him even easier to put into a few teams. He's four-star, four-star. Outside the foot shot trait, finesse shot trait, and flare trait, and a crazy card. Oh, they lost to Angers, which is crazy. Didn't expect that. Yeah, see, they probably won't lose the next three games either. For me, it was it was the uh, the Lorient game that would have been a tough one for them. The Angers game, they should have absolutely wiped the floor with them. Scrini are no upgrades. Doesn't even play. Inter haven't got a win yet. Fernando up to an 88 for the win. That was already in there. He's got one appearance so far. Guiri, he's got one of the two assists, so he should easily go to a 90. He can't go further. was the objective wasn't he this is another cr three star weak foot definitely sucks if you put a maestro on him again good dribbling great shooting from range great passing great pace good physicals you can play center forward striker and left wing along with that left mid that's a really nice card if you did that do you know what for an objective card that's really nice yeah i genuinely can't complain about that uh lars ricken is up to an 89 can't go any further ledley king is up to an 89 can still go further. Spurs haven't lost yet. They've got Bournemouth, Newcastle, Manchester United. It's going to be tough. But King could go a bit further. Dardare up to an 89 for the three appearances. He's so far got one goal. 
They have lost all three times. They've got Cadiz. Betis, who aren't really playing very well at the moment, Villarreal. So the one win, I think, will come against Cadiz Nuts. Um, and one more goal or assist for Dardare is definitely possible. I like this card. Like, the SPC was 200k. God damn, I don't remember it being that expensive. With a shadow on him, though, great pace, great passing, good physicals, good defending. Do you know what? I'd go for an anchor on him as well. Very good physicals, good defending, good pace, good passing, and great dribbling for a CDM with a four-star weak foot. That's a nice card, especially if he gets a couple more upgrades. Uh, Upa Bocano is up to an 89 for the win. Uh, they have lost. They have kept one clean sheet so far, so I only need one more, uh, which shouldn't be a problem for Bayern, but the Bundesliga is full of goals, and Upa Bocano will definitely get that third appearance as well, so he's going to get a nice upgrade. God damn. Oitha Villarreal. They have got the two clean sheets as well, which is why he's gone up three and they haven't lost yet. And they could easily not lose as well. He might get all of the upgrades. Three star, three star. But as far as a center back goes, that's a crazy card. For how much? Oh, was he an objective? Was he an objective or is he just extinct? He was an objective, wasn't he? Yeah, he was an objective. That, that again, guys, is a mad, mad card, especially for an objective. Great pace, great defending, good physicals. Okay passing and really nice dribbling for a centre-back with every chance of getting another upgrade. Park Ji-sung now up to an 89. Uh, can't go any further than that. Taglia Fika up to an 89. Um, <clears throat> he needs the clean sheets as well. They've got one. They might get another one. 60k for this card. Three star, three star sucks a bit, I guess. An anchor on him as well. They're great physicals. Great defending. Very good dribbling for a fullback. Good pace and decent passing. That's a really nice card, you know. Uh, Zobos lie up two so far. No goals or assists. You do expect them to get him to get some, though, against Augsburg, Leverkusen, and Hoffenheim. You could see him, I mean, you could see him getting goals or assists to get in all three games, but specifically against Augsburg and Hoffenheim. He has been upgraded by plus two, though. 46k for this card. Four star, four star. Shooting from range is immaculate. Physicals are very good other than aggression. Passing is very nice. That dribbling you want to upgrade, I would go with an engine on him. Super pace, super passing. Great shooting from range. Very good dribbling. Really nice card for 60k. 46k, I beg your pardon. Jesus. Angelino's up. Uh, one clean sheet for him so far. Chance of a second. Quite a nice little card, this. I bet it's cheap, though. Yeah, 43k. Shadow on him. Do you know what? As far as a fullback goes, that's a really quality card. Four-star skill moves. Really nice dribbling. Great pace, great defending. Good physicals, good passing. There's definitely a couple of players here that I feel like are crazy how cheap they are. Deli Alley up to an 88, but... He won't make any more appearances. Uh, he might get another upgrade for them avoiding defeat. Who have they got? Hatai Spore. Uh, Trabzon Spore, which is a tough game. And Murania Spore. But, yeah. Some, some, some drama surrounding Deli Ali. Cordoba yet to get an upgrade. No wins. Peter Crouch yet to get an upgrade. No wins. Um, Titi yet to get an upgrade. Only two out of three appearances. Um... And no clean sheet so far. Leche. Uh, Ricky Puig. He's got no goals or assists, which is actually quite surprising. Uh, LA haven't won, which is also quite surprising. And they're going to struggle because LAFC are obviously the best team in the league, I'd say. Uh, and then Austin are a good team as well. So Ricky Puig may not get any further upgrades, which would be quite sad. We've got Trimmel. One appearance so far. Both clean sheets already kicked in, so he should be due another upgrade. They have lost, though, but Trimble should be due another upgrade soon. I think he already had this first upgrade. 24k for that card. See, again, I know it's a fullback, so it doesn't really matter too much, but that's another really nice card. We've got uh, Miller now up. He's got no appearances. Montreal have got no clean sheets. They've already lost. They just got the one. Wait, how has he got two upgrades? He must have played in these games, right? And they're just not tracking it properly here. 
because obviously they haven't got any clean sheets. They have already lost. But the fact that he's got two upgrades means uh, you have to play for the clean sheet. Oh, do you? Oh, fair enough. Miller must have three appearances, otherwise there's no, no good reason for him to get upgraded. With the Shadow, though, crazy card, just hard to link. Loriente up to an 87. And again, he must have the three appearances. 23k for this card. Nice dribbling, nice shooting from range, nice passing, good pace. Up a maestro on him. Was he four-star, four-star? French as well. Not too many traits, but that's a really nice card for 20k. Um, Embray Chan up to an 87. Two out of three appearances and one out of two. Uh, oh, maybe, maybe the 85s do get plus two. Yeah, potentially. Emre Chan's got a crazy card, man. A shadow on him. Drop him into centre back. Great physicals. Great defending. Very good pace. Very good dribbling and good passing for a centre back. That's the one you want. Dortmund have already lost. But he should get, he should get one more upgrade. He could get two more upgrades. Wimmer up to an 87. No goals or assists, but two or three in appearances and already the win. Benteke up to an 80. Yeah, do you know what it does look like? Oh, no. See, because he's got the goals, the assists, and the appearances already. Um, DC United have got Montreal next, so they could win that. They could also beat Orlando City. But, again, another MLS player that's just dirt cheap. Pop a hunter on him. Great pace, great shooting. Good dribbling, very good physicals. Four star, four star. That's not a bad card. Yeah, that's a 95 rated striker for 22k. I know he's like fairly hard to link. But he's due probably one more upgrade. That's a mad card. That's a mad card. Rashika up one as well. He's got the uh, the win. Two appearances so far. One goal or assist. Still needs a bit more. Nothing from an Andai. Nothing from Lima yet. Nothing from top rack, and that's it. But there you go, guys. So, loads of upgrades on the fantasy foot cards. There are some absolutely unreal cards there now. And I tell you what, I think the pick of the bunch has to be this Alexis Sanchez card. On a basic, that is just unreal. But that is going to be the end of the video for now, guys. Let me know if you've got any of these in your team, and if you're enjoying using them. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.